Now, as the investigation of the high-profile killing of Baba Siddiqui continues, new details are emerging as to how the plan to murder the former Maharashtra cabinet minister was hatched. Latest reports suggest that the killers of Baba Siddiqui were paid in advance and were delivered their firearms two days prior to the shooting. Reports have also indicated that the weapons used in the killing were delivered through a prepaid courier, while they also received a sum of 50,000 rupees. The police said that the three suspects were carrying pepper spray with them, which they intended to use on Siddiqui before opening fire. However, contrary to the plan, Shiv Kumar opened fire even before arrest could pepper spray. Meanwhile, the Mumbai police has conducted an ossification test on one of the accused Dharmaraj Kashyap and has confirmed that he is not a minor. Earlier, the accused were produced before the court by crime branch where Dharmaraj's lawyer claimed that he was a minor, after which the court ordered an ossification test of Kashyap. It has also come to light that the third accused, Praveen Lankar, was, who was arrested from Pune, played a key role in hiring shooters for the attack on Baba Siddiqui, while his brother, Shubham, took responsibility on social media post, which was later deleted. The officials investigating the murder have revealed that plan to kill Siddiqui was formed in the Patiala jail with the help of Lawrence Bishnoi gang with Mohammad Zishan Akhtar, named as a mastermind. The three accused arrested in the case have been identified as Gurmail Baljeet Singh from Haryana, Dharmraj Rajesh Kashyap from Uttar Pradesh and Praveen Longkar from Pune and have claimed affiliation with the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. A total of six individuals have been identified by the Mumbai police in connection with the murder. With three accused in custody, police continues to search for the other three individuals.